Hi everyone! <laughs> it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. Happy Valentine's Day! Oh, it's a fun day for most of us. My son is not a big fan of Valentine's Day, but um, but I like it. It's fun. I mean, as long as you take it for the for what it's worth, you know, just a way to spread some love and um, enjoy enjoy the day and to express you know little acts of kindness to others. I think as long as you don't get overly romantic about it, it's fine. So anyway, today I wanted to show you a little bit more about the joy. And I have this great little project that I wanted to show you. And to show you that, um, that yes, indeed, the Cricut Joy is going to be able to use your um, existing uh, materials. And I am primarily a paper crafter, but... Um, but I also use uh, iron-on, I use vinyl, and what I find is that, um, especially with holiday things, um, I always have like leftover bits that I just can't part with. You know, that I cut, they're usually 12 by 12, and I can't really part with um, the pieces of leftovers, right? So, um, so for me, I, I, you know, I started thinking about this Cricut Joy. I keep these little pieces, you know, so I cut something out and I use part of the paper, but I can't bring myself to, to throw this part away. So, um, so I end up usually just trimming it off of the mat, you know, so like over here, this is a 12 by 12 piece of, you know, and it cut out something. And so I just trim it off. It's just something I do. It's habit. And, um, it's just, you know, it's just habit. Um, and I do the same thing with iron on and I do the same thing with, with, uh, with vinyl. I just, super frugal I guess anyway and maybe that's why it's called scrapbooking or they used to call it scrapbooking but um so at the end of like usually at the end of the year usually in the spring I gather everything together and give it to a local um art teacher um or sometimes I donate it to my to my library but they look forward to all the scraps but now I'm thinking maybe they're not going to get so many scraps now that I have the crooked joy right because I found out that I can use these scraps um in the crooked joy to make things and when you come down to it I mean oftentimes these projects that we make are really uh rather small they don't need the entire 12 by 12 mat so Mm, why you know why not take advantage of the scraps by by uh, using the Cricut Joy? To me, that is the frugal thing. So anyway, so let me show you uh, this project. This project is from uh, 3dsvg.com. It's called Dreaming Tree, and it consists of three pieces of paper that are cut out. Here's, this is the. Um, the wrap, I suppose you'd call it. And then there's uh, two hearts and two cupids. And you go ahead and you'd glue the hearts, or the cupids to the hearts, and then you'd glue the hearts to that piece. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you would um, insert your Tootsie Pop right here. Glue it there, and then you're all done. Here you go. Here's it done piece okay so um these things are smallish i don't know a couple inches right so um, they're a little longer so i am using the longer mat I and mean, the, the mat does come in a smaller or shorter i should say shorter version so here's a regular uh cricket joy mat um i showed you the the card mat yesterday that's what this is that's the one with that little sleeve on there right and you put the card through there but if you just want to make your own thing you you would use the regular mat and the mat is about four and a half inches um, across and this particular one is six inches long but the one that I'm using in the in the machine um, is 12 Let's unload this okay and so I put that in there you do want to use paper that matches the, the length of the mat and you may have to trim it. Um, the reason behind that is that the machine is really smart and it 
it basically will take into consideration how long the cut piece is. So if you try to do this on a six inch, and, and this is a seven inch cutout. So if you tried to do this on a six inch um, mat, it won't, you can't like fool it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, that's, so that's that. Um, so keep that in mind when you're doing these projects. So, all right, I cut out the um, hearts. I cut out the, the, the wrap around. Now I'm gonna cut out the uh, Cupid, right? The Cupids, okay? So going on to Cupids. Again, I am working with my iPhone. Um, you can work with your laptop, your iPad, or whatever, but I'm working with my iPhone. Um, one of the beauty things about having a mobile app and having that desktop design space app is that you can work in one place and finish in another. So that's exactly what I did here. I was working in my craft studio when I uploaded this entire project. Let me just hit go here while I'm talking. Okay, um, and then I came back and I'm in my kitchen now, as you can see, and I am, I'm cutting this out with the joy. So um, that's a great thing about using the cloud and using the two apps together. And a lot of people, I, I'm not sure if they're aware of the mobile app. Um, and uh, it is slightly different. There are a few nuances you have to learn, um, of course, but it's really not that much different. And once you get the hang of it, um, it's it's a whole lot. It's a whole lot of fun because here's what I do <laughs> at night when I don't when I can't be in my craft room. I like dream on my iPad uh, while I'm you know sitting watching TV or doing something in the kitchen. Um, so I often will design stuff on my iPad and then later on and I'll save it and then later on go to my craft studio and cut it there. Well now I'm finding I can do that the opposite way if I have a project that is um, created in my craft studio I can now come into the kitchen and um, and cut it while I do things like get supper ready um, and you know we're so multi-talented multitasking uh, ladies mostly ladies and and so I have no doubt that I am going to be able to figure out a way to craft <laughs> while I cook. Now, if I could only find a way to craft while I clean, that would be an amazing feat, okay? So if the Cricut folks are listening, please can you develop something that will allow me to craft and clean at the same time? <laughs> Just joking, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Oh, cleaning, I hate it. But okay, so, um, so here we go. So we have all three of the pieces cut out. We have our Cupid, we have a heart, and we have our little holder. And all I'm doing is uh, scoring it at those dashed lines like that. And I'm going to I'm going to put my Tootsie Roll in there before I before I uh, glue it up. But what I will do too is I will um, put the glue. Um, on the back of the Cupid and I'm using this is the glue that I am always using I told you guys about it's called art glitter glue um, and um, I like it but you have to with every glue you you know you don't have to use this one but with every glue you have to use a very gentle hand a very light hand because too much glue makes the paper warp this is what I found out. So it's best if you um, just go lightly. If you have to add more, you can add more later. Of course you can add more. You can't take away so so much, but you can add more, of course. So there's my, you know, there's my heart with my Cupid, and then I can go ahead and affix it. And the folks over at, at uh, Dreamy Tree, they put a little notch here so that I'll know where it needs to go. Isn't that cool? So um, so that's really cool. So I'm gonna put it like in a cross shape. Again, you guys are gonna be 
you know you guys are going to be much more cognizant of things because I'm on camera and so you know sometimes it's hard I'm looking at the at the screen trying to figure out am I is everything in camera so sometimes I make mistakes and I apologize for that okay so there there you go and then we would do the same on the other side and then we take our Tootsie Pop or whatever you know lollipop you wanted to put in there put some glue on the tab and voila a couple minutes and you have an adorable little uh, treat valentine's treat uh for whoever you know a kid or bring it into your boss make his day um or give it to your your friends at work that kind of thing and you did it in your kitchen not in your in your craft studio so i mean i don't know i think it couldn't get any better than that folks all right so that's it for today's video for um the Cricut Joy and also Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to be crafting through the weekend um, at Miss Rita to the Rescue. So I want you to stay tuned, please. And also, um, I'm going to be doing giveaways this weekend. We have those infusible ink uh, prize packs that I still have four more to give out. So I am going to come up with a new challenge to get you to... Um, to get you to be a little more in love with your cricket uh, through through these giveaways, which is, I, I think it's so much fun. So do stay tuned for that. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Come back soon. Thanks for coming. Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue.